Rich Side K9, man. We got Jeff making a sales call. Got this cool little dog, but let me show you all something in the back. This is important, dog behavior. You got a lot of dog uh, behaviorists and psychiatrists and all this mumbo jumbo. Nobody knows dog behavior better than busy dog trainers, right? Let me get your opinion on a busy dog training facility. It's break time right now. What kind of behavior are those dogs showing? Hold on, you'll get my point. Dog behavior. What kind of behavior are those dogs showing? Think hard, I'll give you the answer in a minute. Let's go to the daycare floor for just a second. So we got two college kids. They're paid interns, don't get it wrong, but they're, in, but they're paid. And they're listening to some kind of podcast. Don't know about that, it's kind of suspect and weird. But check this out, guys. Let me flip this. So we have dogs loose, as you can clearly see. Dogs drinking water. We have dogs in crates, right? But look at the amount of dogs that are relaxed. These dogs are all on a break. So you have dogs on a break, you have dogs playing. So we have dogs, I mean, look at the amount of dogs in, in crates here that are waiting their turn. They're gonna go on, they're different play groups, different break groups, right? Dogs playing, dogs on place, people. Let me show you why this is important. Narcotics, drugs, crazy stuff, right? Not one dog you see here is on narcotics or drugs or was given some prescription by a behaviorist to take a bunch of tramadol or trazodone or Percocet. I mean, there's so many drugs these dogs are given to be calm. How do we get all these dogs to sleep in the presence of all these other, other dogs? Hmm, how's it happen? How is it possible that we have big man here hanging, slanging, banging, chilling, but yet over here we have all these dogs just laying down sleeping while dogs are actually playing? Because we exercise the dogs. It's crazy, man. It's a crazy theory, right? If you exercise dogs, play with dogs, create rules. This is kind of funny. Sweet Lord help us, we've lost all control. But it's real, right? So if you exercise dogs, let them play, let them exercise. They're on a play group right now. These dogs all get along really, really well. They play. But while the other ones are waiting their turn for their group, look at it. And not one dog here, not one dog in here is on narcotics. Not one dog in here is drugs. And look at this. Dog aggressive dogs, you're gonna say, but you have no dog aggressive dogs. Okay, incredibly dog aggressive dog. This is a dog killer right here. She's a killer. She will kill a dog, right? But yes, she can learn to relax in a crate. But I can't make this up and I can't stress enough. Stop listening to these mumbo jumbo witch doctors that want to fill your dog with narcotics or tell you to put them down. Come train them. These are all trained dogs, man. Look at this. And you say, yeah, but there's no stimulus. Really? These dogs are wrestling and playing right in front of them, but they learn. They learn. It's crazy how that happens, right? Dogs can actually learn to relax. Why? Because they're exercise. They're in play groups, running groups, outside groups. And then between their groups, they just go back in their crates and chill. Seeing is believing, man. Seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. It's good stuff. Hey, look what the cat just drove in. Okay, hold on, guys. We're going to do an impromptu interview. All right, guys. So Ariel just joined us deep from Fredericksburg. It's a pretty long drive. So what I was talking about was this, right? We don't believe in giving dogs narcotics. We don't. This is a me when I say we. But I'm speaking on behalf of myself. I don't believe in drugging dogs. Poor behavioral issues. So when you walked in, now everybody's excited because you're here. You probably saw all these dogs asleep, laying down. And then if we look at all these dogs in crates that are asleep, while we have a play group out, would you agree that exercise, boundary, limitation, making dogs tired, and then establishing rules can go a long way for crate training? Yes, I, I agree. Would you agree that exercise, rules and boundaries are better than drugs? In 95% of cases. That yeah, a that's a good point. <laughs> There's always outliers, dogs on the left and right, lateral limits of behavior. 
Right? Now, new person came, dogs get a little excited, whatever. They'll calm down here momentarily. I was here the other day. I was marveling at how silent the villain was. Ooh. Compliment from Ariel's a good day. Now, she just accused me of giving her the wrong code for the door. So we're going to wrap this up and go figure that out because I gave the right code. But. I'm not saying it was the wrong code. I'm just saying I couldn't get it to open. More to the story. Yes, there's a time when you have real medical issues that require medication, drugs, narcotics. However, it's a crutch most of the time and oftentimes you can exercise, train, have rules, boundaries, foundation, yada, 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 and you can avoid the drugs. I'm going to close it out by showing you all this barking going on. Morticia's getting a little bit annoyed because somebody new is here. She doesn't like that. Dogs are jumping, biting at my feet. And look at these dogs, guys. This is the value of daycare and day training. They wait their turn, they're quiet, they're not spinning, jumping, acting a fool, they're just quietly waiting their turn.